Just wondering if yesterday's announcement on temporary student visas is a part of a bigger rethink on our immigration policies. Will there be caps on other temporary visas? Are we going to tie immigration to housing? Um, I, one of the things that Canadians understand is that immigration remains an incredible strength and force for Canada and for the Canadian economy. Being able to welcome in people from around the world, particularly at this time of labour shortages, is good for our country and uh, good for the future that we're building together. But we need to make sure that the system is working. Uh, in uh, the rigorous ways that it always has. That's what gives Canadians confidence about it. Uh, over the past few years, we've seen a massive increase in the number of international students, and that's why we are uh, steadying the numbers for the next two years so that we can make sure uh, that international students can fully benefit uh, from uh, their time here in Canada and uh, that our system is able uh, to manage and handle them in the right ways. This is part of what a responsible government must do uh, to ensure uh, immigration continues to function smoothly and Going Canadians Canada. Canada. Make some attempt to liberate it non-violently. Yes. It deserves to live in freedom and peace and not in rapid disgusting decline. What kind of reception do you think we'll get in Canada? There are people who really do desire the truth and understand what's at stake. But if we show up and announce we're here to liberate Canada, what do you think will happen? Well, their hair is going to start on fire and they're going to freak out. Justin Trudeau is such a metrosexual buffoon, always dressing up in little costumes, that it's almost impossible, or it was almost impossible, to think of him as an authoritarian dictator. This person at Canada, I love you guys. You welcome me. I feel like you guys are my family. I told you I would bleed for you, and I bled for you, and I would do it any day of the week. Since even hundreds of thousands of people are moving out of Canada, is the increase in crime, fentanyl crisis. The addictions are through the roof. Overdoses are through the roof. Homeless are through the roof. All over the street, you see them. Random attacks on people on the metro. Canada isn't the safe country that it once was. It isn't the country that was advertised as peaceful, as everybody loves each other. Everything is wonderful in Canada. It isn't that country anymore have to mention the other reason which is your tax to death as a Canadian. If you want to be a wealthy Canadian, get ready to pay over 50% in tax. If you want to buy a luxury sports car or a nice yacht, get ready to pay a luxury tax. You pay sales tax, you pay personal income tax, you pay corporate tax, you pay regional taxes, you're essentially taxed as much as humanly possible and people are okay with this. They're okay with being taxed to death and we have to talk about it, the horrible censoring government. The government is getting more and more powerful. They want to censor news. They want to censor social media. They want to censor podcasts. They want to make news and podcasts more Canadian. But what that really means is they want to censor what they say. They want to make sure that you're listening to what the government wants. It's really 1984 on steroids. They close down your bank account if you refuse to follow what the government says. If you support people that protest against your government, they cancel your bank account. They close down your crypto exchange account. They don't want prosperity for Canadians. They